Right, welcome to the channel everyone. I am playing the Cheshire Course at Carden Park today. Full 18 holes with Shot Tracer. Starts off with a par 3. 147 into the wind. I'm playing a 7 iron just off the right bunker, hoping that the wind brings it a little. I'm afraid it doesn't. Slightly long to start. A little chip off the green. Nicely played and at this point I think it's going in and just rolls by to an uncomfortable eight foot which means we start with a bogey the next hole is a par five Get a big tee shot even though it's a little bit out to the right there's plenty of room out there carries the bunker and they have got slightly downwind here next shot is with hybrid getting the ball back into play not reachable in two and uh, we get it so uh, the idea to get it a couple of hundred yards back down the middle of the fairway which leaves 120 in I play a 50 degree wedge, which is um, based on the fact it's a little downwind. And we get pin high, um, or just a little bit past the pin. But putter, I'm feeling confidence, and uh, yeah, that's a birdie. So I bounce back birdie and back to level par. Next up is a par four, aiming down the left hand side with a bit of fade, which it doesn't, which means it's heading towards the pond at this stage. A little worrying. So we miss the pond. Again, controlled shot in here, our 140 or 157 to the flag. I played at 147, but it's safe. It leaves a chance of birdie, even though we're quite away from the hole. But it's a decent roll. And at this point, yet yeah, again, I think it's going in. The putter is certainly working this morning. But we've still got a little fiddly one here. We've um, probably rolled on three or four foot. I don't spend a lot of time on these and generally just aim at the centre of the cup and firm and we make our par. So three holes in at level par, thanks to that uh, rolling birdie and nearly hold a big one on the last to be honest with you, I thought it was going in for quite some time. Assessment so far, haven't hit a decent shot yet, I'll be honest with you, um, but maybe shot selection was good in the sense that I didn't get in any trouble and was able to make, uh, well, score better than possibly I should have done right now. Anyway, on to four. Next up is a par four. This one I really feel like I can sort of have a real rip at it. I aim at the right hand bunker and hopefully bring it back to the left, which it doesn't, but I know it's pretty safe there. All the danger was down the left. So just 60 yards in. Shot trace is a little bit behind this one. You'll see the ball land before the line does and a decent birdie chance. And again, I feel like I've got the line and yeah, that one hurt a little. It looked in from uh, the minute it left the putter. But unfortunately it didn't, but I'm happy that I'm reading lines and I'm hitting the ball along the um, at the hole, giving it a chance. But we'll make another par. So this one up the hill, again, out to the right is the sort of safest bet, but again, I've leaked it too far right, but all the trouble down the left-hand side in terms of OB but leave an awkward shot in, which I've tried to punch in low and uh, sort of overdone it a little bit, run past the flag and right through the green. A lot of green to work with, so I'm playing a nine iron, uh, getting it on the floor as soon as possible, letting it roll and run out. And I've got to admit, this is uh, one of the best shots that I play on the day to leave again, another tap in for a par. My short game is certainly saving me at this stage Par five, best drive of the day. Uh, it's an uphill, so it's not going to carry as far, but the shape was good. Everything about this drive got me in a good position, which then leaves me a uh, five iron to just uh, play a sort of chippy one down the fairway. Can't reach in two. You'll see there's a big tree in the way in terms of the green. So that's actually in good position for the next shot in, which was, um, I was playing seven iron. It was 151 to the flag, but again, into the wind. And um, I've got a good line at the flag, avoiding that tree to the left. I played an easy seven. And at this point, Shot Tracer didn't like this one, by the way. But at this point, this is right on the flag, and I think I'm all over it. But I came up short. And uh, this is a real horrible one. It's a very scabby, muddy lie. I didn't fancy wedge, so I thought I'd try and just uh, put a hybrid and uh, chase it along. And I've got to admit, I'm really happy with the result there. Uh, probably more happy than that than any shot I've hit today. Um, just a little bit scabby lie, as I've just said. 
didn't fancy a wedge, a bit soft on the foot as well, and a real awkward shot. And they always say in the videos that we do that um, a hybrid has got so much versatility. And uh, I need to start using it just a little bit more in those situations. But again, still a lot of work now to save par. But I've got to say, the putter is certainly saving me. So another par four drive down the left hand side here. It's turned over just a little bit too much and heading towards the tree. And I get really lucky here where I sneak past the other side. This could have been in a lot of trouble, but left a short wedge in. This again is a 50 wedge plane. Again, one sort of 15 to the flag. And this is all over it. Really happy with the wedge play so far today. Went a little bit long, and uh, but still, it's a birdie chance. A real tentative effort with the putter. And um, on the way I've been putting so far this morning, not the best. But we still make a fairly easy par. Par three is next up, and this is a real tough one. This plays sort of uh, 215 uphill, long carry. Five wood in hand, sort of looking for a bit of a fade and double crossed it and turned it over into a bunker and left a real difficult bunker shot. It's sort of 20 yards all rough in between my ball and the flag and no green to work with. And this is, uh, well, this, you won't see it, I don't think, but it pitches right near the flag and just spins off to the right. And I roll in for another miraculous par. You can see this one, yeah, a bit of a celebration on that one. That came out of nowhere. That's an up and down. Ninth hole, always aimed down the right hand side. Looking to turn one over to the right to left, but again, just leaking them out right. It's a long drive. I've gone over to the other fairway, which is uh, coming down two. Five iron over the top, and it's just a case of aiming at the clubhouse, which you can't quite see, but I know this is online. Um, it's just a case of did I club right? I came up short, but safe. And again, bearing in mind the conditions, this is just a chip and run with a nine iron. And it's a case of a little bit of luck and judgment to get it somewhere near the hole. A chance of saving par. Well, it's 10, 12 foot to go. I think uh, we've had all our luck with the putter so far. And as you can see, that one just fades off to the left hand side. But we've got a tap in for a bogey and that finishes nine holes, one over. So 10 is a par four, all trouble in my eyes down the left. So again, you've got a lot of room right hand side. This is a good drive, 242 carry, left me in a real good position. I've got eight iron in, and uh, this was again, the best iron I've played so far today. Just slightly left of the flag, really good strike and ball flight. Left a real awkward one though at the back of the green for birdie it's got a big slope on this i set it out left um and probably pace and line just a tad out and um it's further than it actually looks here it's probably a good four footer again just to save par but we comfortably uh roll this one in and keep things rolling par five next driver again aim at the two trees turn it over at this point it uh, hits right into one of those trees and uh, leaves me backwards here. Eight iron to get back into play. I'm way out of position right there. And just find the fairway, which then leaves me a real awkward one because there's another huge oak tree awaiting. I feel like I can get hybrid up and over it. And I was wrong. I hit it right into the top of the tree. At this point, didn't know where it had turned out. It had gone through a little. Left a wedge, 120 in, um, just to be honest with you, good, good wedge shot again. A little bit um, to do though in terms of the putter. These greens had just been cut as well. The back nine had been cut and you can see straight away that um, all of a sudden I've lost the pace in the green and rolled this one by a good 10 foot um, and a huge difference from the front nine in terms of pace. But um, no, at this stage really struggling. Looks like a double bogey is on the cards from that errant tee shot. But yet again, this putter seems to be saving me and I walk off with a bogey. Par four, drive at the bunkers. Again, looking for just a little bit of cut, but it doesn't quite cut, but it's not in a bad position all the same. And again, I've had this number around 120 in quite a lot. Um, gone pitching wedge right over the top. All trouble is left, but this is straight at the pin. A real good positive strike. 
a real opportunity for birdie. You can see that water on the right, which was all down my left hand side. So it's a real tough golf hole. Really like the look of this putt, doesn't look a lot in it. But then right at the last minute, it just makes its way off to the right. Next up, par four, up the hill. Real tight driving hole, and uh, in all honesty, a lot of occasions I won't play driver, but I really ripped this one solid. It's gone right down the middle and it's in good position. I've got 125 up the hill, but I'm playing nine iron because this takes a lot out of it. There's quite a slope on this uh, that you're not quite seeing. But uh, pitches up again what looks to be pin high at this stage, but a real awkward putt that swings severely from left to right. This is a lot more difficult than it looks, and as soon as I hit it, I know I've got the line wrong, and the slope is severe, as you can see, takes it away down 10 foot from the hole, and uh, not the best of putts. I don't spend too much time on these. Like I said, line up. I know that it's coming off the right-hand side from the slope I've just hit. Firm and right into the middle. I can't believe how good the putter's going. Right, driver, I love this hole. It's a big wide open one, it's a par five, and I completely skied the drive, but I can't believe it got a 220 carry because it was horrendous. But it's playing that short that I only got five iron in. Um, it's a decent shot, left of all the trouble. We can't quite see the bunkers today on the line that I'm in. But that's not in a bad position. I've decided to go with putter. There's, um, the safest bet, in my opinion, is a case of trying to gauge pace up the hill. And I've really got this one spot on. And uh, just again, it's a tap-in for a birdie that looked like it nearly uh, sneaked away there from me. Right, 120 downhill to the flag, playing a 50 degree wedge again, and I've really got a nice clip on this. It's gone long over the flag, but happy with strike. Gauging the wind is difficult, but I left a long put back, um, set the ball rolling, I'm way too keen on this, and it's very embarrassing when the camera position you set up, the ball doesn't even stay in frame. So again, can I save it with another putt? And the answer to that question is no, it was missed as soon as I uh, it left the club face. So I'm afraid that's a bogey four with a three putt. Not good. Toughest driving hole on the course, in my opinion. Looking for a fade off the big tree and turned it over. And that's in trouble down the left. So it's a case of taking the punishments. Seven iron, chip it up the hill. And what should leave a fairly short club then up into the green. Quite happy with the way I've played that sensibly for a change. Wedging and again, this 50 degree, I seem to have played it on every hole. Just um, left of flag looks good from where I'm stood. But then I find out that I've missed the green slightly down the left hand side. In the summer months, this would have bounced off of the camber and made its way back down to the uh, green. But uh, a bit softer conditions today. So it's 58 wedge, little chip, and quite happy with this again. But again, you'll just see that uh, the pace is good in the greens on the back nine, a lot, lot different. Rolls by 10 foot. And we've got this for, well, this is now to save bogey, but confident that I'll make it the way the putter has been going. Good strike. And again, just swung that little bit too much. Grabbed a bit of the hole, but not enough fit. I'm afraid that's a double bogey. A 17 is a par three. Um, the flag is out to the right in a very small corner of the green. We're not seeing in the light, but I fancy this. It's not playing anywhere near 181. I think it was 147 off this tee. A little bit of a cut into the flag, and I love this shot. It's right on it, it's all over it, and uh, gives a good opportunity for birdie. And could do with it after that double bogey. But yeah, decent roll, but maybe read that one a little bit wrong. It certainly turned away towards the end. But a comfortable par. On to 18. Hybrid now I'm playing to avoid the bunkers on the right or centre of screen that you can see. So sort of at them and then just turn it over a little bit. And it was a solid strike, which leaves me again. 120 in, would you believe? That same number, same wedge. And it's probably been the highlight of my round. It's been how good the wedge play has been. And the putter, of course. And this gives me another chance to finish and bounce back with a birdie on the last. And again, got to say, confidence was high. I fancied this. Seeing the line, you start to see it swinging. And yeah, I, 
can't believe that that one, uh, well, I suppose I've had enough good luck and we've got away with a few already. Um, and left myself, to be honest with you, this is a good four foot back to save par. Which thankfully I did, and that's 18 holes at four over. I hope you enjoyed watching every single shot. Let me know in the comment section below, is that your thing or not? And if it is, I will record a few more and it gives me the opportunity to play a little bit more serious golf. Thanks for watching. See you soon.